Hello everyone and welcome to the 16th Coco programming tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can use our menu bar in our Coco applications. So every time you create a new Coco application you by default get a menu bar and a nice little window. So the menu bar works like pretty much every other Coco object that we've worked with. For example, if we were to work with an NS button, we can add as many NS buttons as we want to the window, and then we can, you know, connect an IB action to those using target action. So the NS menu basically works the exact same way. We can add new NS menu items into an NS menu, and we can operate that way. So let me just cover those two classes quickly. The NS menu is basically just the thing that houses all of the NS menu items. And then an NS menu item is what we can click on that can call some action. So if we click on our file menu right here, you can see that if we click on the open option right here, the open would be considered an NS menu item because when we click it, we're you know calling some action, we're doing something. Whereas this entire thing uh, right here, which houses all these NS menu items, is known as the NS menu. So anytime we want to work with an IB action or calling something when we press it, we're, we're talking about NS menu items. And again, these are the things that when we press them, they do something. Simple enough. So let's just uh, talk about quickly what we're going to be doing in this application. We're going to be creating a new NS menu item, basically, uh, or a new NS menu that's going to house two NS menu items. So both of those NS menu items are just going to call different methods and those methods are going to change a label that we're going to have on our window. So this is a pretty simple example, but um, you know, you learn how to use NS menu items. So basically what we're going to want to do is go ahead and add our label into our window. Type label into your search box and we can drag this out here. Just stretch it across, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to be that big anyway. And we can also center the text uh, just to make it look a little nicer. So with that, now we have our nice label in the center. And now what we want to do is add our NS menu items. So what we can do for this is go ahead and type in NS menu into your search bar. And we get all these different menu options um, for working with NS menu items and NS menus. So um, the lower options that you'll see down here, like the window menu item and the you know, format menu item. These are all basically pre-made options that Apple gives you that you can put into your own application. So, you know, if you want to add the font menu into your application, you could drag it right there. And you'll see that it gives you all these default actions that Apple, you know, already has presented for you. So the bottom options are really just pre-made, you know, kind of cookie cutter things that you can work with. And you can also add new uh, options to these menus as well. But these are just nice things that Apple gives you so that, you know, you don't have to worry about it if you want to add certain things to your menu. So again, the lower options are basically presets for you that you can drag in. But some of the things we want to work with are uh, the first thing is a menu item, and the second is a sub-menu menu item. So anytime you create some kind of menu option, or for example, if we click our window, anytime you click this and you get more options, that's considered a sub-menu menu item. So uh, for example, if I drag my sub-menu menu item onto our menu bar right here, you can see when I drop that in, we get a new menu option. And that's because when I click on this, now I get, you know, my own menu. So a sub-menu menu item is just to create a new NS menu, basically. So anytime I click on a sub-menu menu item, it will present me with a bunch of other options. Now, if I want to add menu items to this, I can do this as well. So um, let me go ahead and change the names, though, before we get too far ahead of ourselves. So we're just going to call this our menu, and we can do this just by double-clicking on this, or we can change this in the attributes inspector as well. So we're just going to call this our menu. And, I mean, I'm not very specific with this, but of course you'd want to be descriptive on what you're making this menu for. And then we can also change the uh, items that are in our menu as well, just by double-clicking on those and changing that. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is just going to either say, say hello or say goodbye. And that's uh, what we're going to put in our menu item. 
So we can just say, say hello as our one option. And now, of course, we want to add a new NS menu item to this. So what we can do is drag in our menu item, which is located right here. So we can drag in a menu item. And you'll see that when I go to drag this in, I get a few options. So, or not a few options, I only get one option, I don't know what I'm saying. But when you see that when I drag this in, I can drag it in, and you get like this little bar that goes across saying where you're inserting this menu item. So very nice, and all I have to do now is of course label this NS menu item. So I'm just going to call it say goodbye. So there we go, now we have say hello and say goodbye. And to test this out, we can go ahead and run this application. And you'll see when it compiles that we get our menu right here. And you'll notice that both of the options are actually grayed out. And that was too far zoomed in, but anyway, we have two options here, our say hello and say goodbye. Both of these are grayed out simply because we can't do anything with them. If we were to click them, you know, they wouldn't do anything because we don't have any actions connected to them. So that works though, as expected, we have our menu option with the things that we added. So, so far, so good. Now let's make our controller class that we can connect all these things together. So we can go ahead, file new file if we want, but I just use command N. So anyway, we have, uh, we want to just get a new controller class, so Objective-C class, subclass of NS object, and we've done this a hundred times by now, so I'm sure you're familiar with this. Uh, we want a new thing, just call it app controller. And now we have our class on the side here. So what do we want to add to this app controller? Well, we want to control the uh, NS text field or our label that's located on our window. And we also want to have two IB actions for the uh, NS menu items that we have. So let's go ahead and add our um, NS text field. So IB outlets and NS text field, and we'll just call it label. And then of course we want to add two IB actions for both of those NS menu items. So IB action and say hello, passing in ID sender as always. And then our last option is just going to be for the other menu item. And that's just going to be say goodbye. And again, just passing in ID Center. And this is for, of course, all the IB actions that we work with. So now that we have all this set up, we have to implement how these IB actions are going to work. So let's hop over to our app controller and implement these. So to start off, let's set up our say hello. And say hello, all it's going to do is label set string value and we're just gonna say hello and now for our say goodbye all we're gonna do in this is of course say goodbye so all we want to do is label set string value and we want to say goodbye so there we go we have set up uh, all the things that we need we got both of our methods uh, that are just going to set the label to different values depending on which one is clicked. So that's everything we wanted to set up and now let's hop back over to our main menu nib file and we want to connect these so let's add our controller class so to do this just add a new object so drag on your new NS object make sure you subclass it using the custom class option use just call it app controller because that was our custom class name and now, of course, we need to make the connections for our controller. So we can right click on our app controller or control click if you have one, uh, one click mouse. And now we can connect all these options here. So we have our outlets, which is our label. So connect our NS text field label, like so. And now, of course, we have the actions that we want to connect. So these are both in our menu right here. So click our menu. And now we can just connect these options by going like so. So say goodbye, we want to connect that to the say goodbye menu item. And then say hello, we want to connect that to the say hello menu item. So there we go, we have both of those things connected now, so all should work as intended. So we have the actions connected to our NS menu items, 
which will change whatever our label is supposed to say. So let's go ahead and run this. And when we do, we have our menu. And as you can see, now the options we have, uh, we can now click on, click say hello, we get hello. Click say goodbye, we get goodbye. So that's pretty awesome. We have, we were able to add our own menu option and add some NS menu items as well. One last thing I want to show you before I leave you with this tutorial is how we can add keyboard shortcuts to these menu items. So let's say for say hello, we want to add a, a keyboard shortcut for this. We can either change this in the attributes inspector just by going here and then entering some kind of key combo, or we can double click here and you'll see it like highlights this little box. And now we have the option to enter our own keyboard combination. So just click whatever you want for the keyboard combination. And uh, so for say hello, we'll just do command shift H. And keep in mind, sometimes you don't want to run into uh, you know similar system uh, keyboard equivalents because if you do, uh, it's not going to let you use them. So just make sure what you're using is um, a valid option. So anyway, um, once we've done that, we can go ahead and run this again. And now, as you can see in our menu right here, say hello shows the keyboard shortcut. And again, this was Command Shift H. So if we do this, we call the keyboard uh, or our, our menu item right here, and we change the text. So anyway, that's how you can easily add keyboard shortcuts into your menu items as well. Again, you can do that by double clicking here and setting it to whatever you want, or you can do it right here and set it to whatever you want as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the NS menu and the NS menu items. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the Twitter page as well, and I'll see you next tutorial.